Hello, this is Ronnie Odom with Navigate Housing. Thank you so much for joining us for another Wednesday Wisdom. Today I'm speaking with Ebony Hall. Ebony is the marketing coordinator for Navigate Housing. She also is a marketing guru, um, mainly because she graduated from my same university, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Go dogs, right? <laughs> Go dogs. <laughs> Ebony, welcome. Thanks, Ronnie. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. I think that it's so beneficial because my, my degree, my background is in marketing. Um, I think that it's so beneficial for public housing authorities to really understand some basic marketing and public relation things that can help them to um, get ahead of the bad things. We always hear about housing authorities that had to evict somebody with their children our housing authorities that um, didn't house enough homeless people. It's always bad, bad, bad. But what if you um, turn that around and start selling all of the good things that you do, like your family self-sufficiency program or the BASH program? So we're going to talk about some real basic skills that you can learn um, from Ebony especially and how you can even utilize social media to help you get your messages across. So Ebony, first of all, would you just give us some hints on a couple of things that housing authorities can do that are really easy and basically mm -hmm. free, like with social media? Mm -hmm. Well, we know that a lot of public housing authorities have already established themselves on the internet. So mm -hmm. they already have an online presence mm -hmm. with a website, and some of them have also decided to use social media mm -hmm. to communicate with the public and with their residents. And I think what public housing authorities need to really look at is not only sending out notices uh, via mail or having managers hand out notices, but also putting that stuff on your website, putting that stuff on your social media, and uh, just hoping that if you post it, they will come. Right, mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. And I've seen a lot of housing authorities with really comprehensive websites, mm -hmm. as you spoke earlier, that have um, tenant and um, landlord portals. So landlords can go in, put their private information in, and they can find out when their check, when their app checks have been mailed. Um, tenants can go in and find out when their utility reimbursements have been mailed, and all of that is really wonderful, and it helps you from an administrative standpoint. But let's take it further and talk about some public relation things that, um, that you should kind of know in order to get ahead of the game. So what are some basic public relations um, concepts that public housing authorities should know? Well, you know, I think that you have to strategize and you have to plan so that you can win. And of course, you know, we have five-year five year strategic plans and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You kind of have to do the same thing with your communications plan, especially incorporating social media. So what you want to do is research. Mm -hmm. And that sounds like, oh, research, what does that mean? Well, one thing, you want to know who you're talking to. And a lot of that information you probably already have. Like, what are the demographics mm -hmm. of your residents? Um, how old are they? We know that they have limited income mm -hmm. in many cases, but uh, just how can you reach them and what kind of message will you put on each platform based on what you know about each group? Mm -hmm. So I do have some statistics here. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing about um, Pew Research, they put out a great uh, poll survey every year. Mm -hmm. And this one from 2016 said that online adults making less than 30,000 a year, 84% of them use Facebook. Absolutely. 84 of them, 84% use Facebook, 38% use Instagram, 23% use Twitter, 21% use LinkedIn, and 30% use Pinterest. So when you're looking at that, 84% of your residents most likely are going to be using Facebook. Of course, when you break that down by age, a lot of older folks are using Facebook more than some of the younger folks mm -hmm. who you might be able to reach better on Instagram or Twitter. That's it for this week. Next week, we'll talk more about social media during natural disasters.